Welcome to another episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show. I'm Jabbar Harris. I'm your host and I'm your proprietor. And on this week's episode, we're going to be talking about Championship Football Sunday. Um, we're going to talk about Big Ben's retirement at a later date and time. I want to give him his proper due and respect and, you know, dedicate one of the shows to him. So we're just going to talk about his his retirement at a later date and time just because you know, he's my quarterback on my team, and like I said, I just he deserves a, a proper uh, show dedicated towards him. So we can just, um, you know, just appreciate his 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 value that he brought to to, to my team, my Steelers, and just give him his proper proper due at a later date and time. As far as Tom Brady's rumors, whether he's waiting to announce a retirement for salary cap purposes or just really not unsure. Anything of that nature. I really w- wish he would still play. He leaving a lot on the table. Everybody know he still got years left to play in them. Three to five years. This guy's forty four years old. When we talk about he got three to five years left of quarterback playing him. That's just how great a quarterback that he been over the you know two decades, and just how well he take care of his body and things of that nature. And just uh, keeping up with health and good luck, you know, especially with the hard work and good luck, you know. Everything, just a combination of everything, just help help them have a long career. And um, I appreciate his, his longevity and greatness for a long period of time. It's, it, you know, it's rare. And you just got to appreciate things like that. We, we see it, you know, because it's, it's not too often in any sport. So I give him his proper due. And I just... Uh, it's, it's kind of bittersweet because we wish that he would just still play and give it one more shot because everybody know that he he could have had a, another opportunity to uh, get to it in the Super Bowl next season with the group of guys coming back and uh, Tampa could have made another run for the Super Bowl. Everybody know that it's just it's just sad because he just left the Super Bowl ring on the table even though he got seven Super Bowls. And we're saying he's leaving one on the table. This man with seven. Uh, with the 10 Super Bowls, with the 10 Super Bowls on seven of them. And we say he left the ring on the table because he's not coming back for another year. So hopefully he just give it some time. And I know it's family reason, so nobody's going to bash him or nothing like that because it's about family. You know, he must spend time with family. His kids are getting older. Everybody knows, how, you know, how much big I'm on, on family. I respect that. I respect that to the fullest. I just wish they... I know they already have probably agreed on one more year, one more year for five, seven years, eight years. You know, Tom Brady's 44 years old. And I know if she, it was like Ben wanted to retire and, and the kids have been wanting them home, things of that nature. So, uh, you know, it's just sad as fans to see him, see him go. But, you know, can't uh, do nothing but respect and, and uh, admire him for, you know, wanting to retire to, you know, be, be home with his family to do the, the husband and the dad thing to the fullest. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's a, uh, to be committed. But uh, congratulations to Tom Brady on one one rare, unique career that you had set apart, set yourself apart from everybody like no other. With all the accolades that you got, number one in all the records, anything across the board, regular season, postseason, you can name it. You number one in all. Congratulations, Tom Brady on with the greatest career of them all. You do true GOAT in the NFL, greatest of all time. There ain't no debate in that. Appreciate the be able to be the witness. All right, we're going to talk about the Bengals and the Rams Super Bowl. Okay. Bengals and the Rams made it to the Super Bowl. Bengals beat the Chiefs. Cannot believe they held the Chiefs down to only three points in the second half. That's crazy. You got the boy T. Higgins out there balling out there. Chase Young out there doing his thing like usual. Joe Burrow, he's just the truth. You know, you know he he uh he you know he 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 had to, uh, yeah, he had to turn over he had a turnover, but he still managed to get what, two touchdowns and um, control controlling the offense and just you know being cool out there, making the right plays when you need it the most, and setting things up for your kicker. The uh, you know, loud on the win by three. It's crazy how they came back and how close these games was. It's just, uh, it's just, it's just a great football game to watch. It's been some great football games past three weeks in a row, all three rounds. 
and uh, Super Bowl. We're just looking forward to another great game. Like I said, the Bengals, they uh, they, they they play their butts off. I can I, I I commend them for for their um, effort and their hard work, and they're they're want to they're wanting it more. They're leaving it all out there just to get the W. Like um, they were the better team that day. Simple as that. As far as in the, the Rams beating the 49ers, that was that was a great win. The Rams, I can't believe how they uh, they came back just just, just like the uh, the Bengals came back. That that was a good game to watch. Um, you got Cooper Cup going off like usual. Um, Matt Stafford, um, he this is what he wanted. He wanted to be making uh, big plays, and big games, and big moments. He got what he wanted. He's out there delivering, and uh, uh, that's it's, it's good for him. It, you know, he was out there in purgatory, out there in the, the Detroit Lions, not doing nothing. Hey, uh, um, it didn't break his spirit. It didn't break his uh, want to. It didn't break his want to want to be better and be a great player because he's uh, he's 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 playing basically mistake free football and getting the job done. And they're winning because of Matt Stafford. That's that's the key. So it's gonna be a great Super Bowl. Bengals, Rams, Super Bowl, LA, so so fly, so fly, you know. So it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be electric fireworks. You got uh nobody expected the Bengals to be there. Rams they was already there before. You have a couple of veterans that have been there before. And um so they're 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 the veterans in the, in, in the group because uh like I said, you got plenty of guys that have been there two times. Bob Miller been there three times, so uh, it's, they got some veterans over there, and then you got the young, the young crew, the Bengals got guys in their first, second year out there, just um, give, you know, just being young and free, and just and just seeing what happens. But I think the Bengals might be able to pull it off, but I'm leaning towards the Rams for sure. Right now, as it stands, right now I'm going with the Rams, but you know we can see what happens over the next two weeks. Lakers losing in streak again. It's crazy. Here we go again. Now it's a better streak because they lost to my Atlanta Hawks. You know, that's my other team. You know, shout out to my ATL Hawks. But, oh, gosh, the losing streak continues again. Here we go. And for three games under 500, this is crazy. We got we to got, we, we do better. Just better defense. We're putting up points. I'm not worried about it. Keep knocking down points. I mean, keep knocking down uh, buckets. Get the points. Yeah. Y'all you know, good with that. Y'all decent with that. Y'all cut down with the turnovers. I appreciate that. Can we just lock people down? Can we shut people down on defense? Can we stay with our guy? Can we keep, uh, you know, the hands in the face? Can we not give up open jumpers? Can we not get beat off the dribble? Can, can we box out and get some rebounds? Can we do some things like that on the defensive side? Please. That's all I'm just asking for. That's all I'm just begging for. That's all I need. Like, the defense just needs to be better. We was top notch defense. Like the, the, uh, the last three years in a row, then this year our defense has fallen apart. I understand that we lost some of our youth with the with the trade for Russell Westbrook, but we got some guys that that some veterans and they know you need to play defense is unacceptable, and they know they would be cussing other people out, younger players for not playing no defense, but they they not taking that uh, responsibility amongst themselves and going out there. And I'm uh, playing, playing defense and being in the positions that they know they need to be on the defensive side and doing the things they know they need to be doing as veteran players on the defensive side. It's ridiculous. They they they, they veteran, well accoladed, uh, well acclaimed uh, players that we got, Hall of Fame credential players that we got on our team, and we're just playing like we don't know no better on the defensive side. Like, come on now, I need effort. I need more. But hey, this guy's to turn around like now. But that's all I got for my Lakers right now because uh, they had to disappoint me on the defensive side. But everything else is turning around, looking real good on the offense and the turnovers. We're doing a real good job with that. So let's get the defense under control, and then we should be on this. Um, we should we should be on this uh, playoff push run. So let's go. Let's go Lakers. Now Hawks, like I said, they got seven games in a row. They they winning. They doing good. Trey Young been going off. NBA All Star starter. Uh, that's 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 real great. I'm proud of my young boy out there, Trey Young out there doing his thing. Keep going off. Um, like I said, they're turning this around. About to be five, a game under 500. So, um, yeah, I think they long they above 500, they should be able to be in the, the ninth or 10th seed or even 8th seed. Anywhere between 8th and 10th seed to get into the play-in game. Long they in the play-in game to get into the playoffs. Everything will be good. So, 
They just need to get into the dance. That's all we're looking for, so we can make this run again. Because I need to get my uh, LA versus ATL uh, NBA Finals. That's what I need in my life. Now, my closing PS, I just want to talk about the NBA All-Stars start is in the game. We, the, the, we could talk about the game another late in date and time, but as far as the starters, I'm not I'm not mad at who they got. Of course, LeBron James, the, uh, the, um, the leading vote getter. Um, Kevin Durant is the second leading vote getter. They both the captains for the West and for the East, respectively. So, uh, yeah, I'm... I'm not. I'm not mad at. I'm not mad at it. Um, I wish Russell Westbrook was starting. Of course, I could. I can, I can go with that. But uh, you know, to be objective, I ain't nothing wrong with that. I, I, um, the people that got on there, I would have took Andrew Wiggins out of there and replaced him with uh, a Draymond Green or uh, uh, Paul George or um, Anthony Davis or you know just any other player. I would have replaced the Andrew Wiggins, but I'm not mad with. Um, Garland out there. I'm not mad with Trey Young out there. I'm not mad with uh, out there the Kubo out there. Of course, a uh, Jello B, Kevin Durant, uh, obviously LeBron James, Steph Curry, D John Morant. Um, you're not going wrong with none of those guys. It's just Andrew Wiggins. I would. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I think he was pushing it right there just because the Warriors got the best record in the league, so they want to go with two players. That's generally how it goes when you got the best record in the league. They want to give you at least two players. So uh, that's just part of the status quo. Uh, but I appreciate you watching the episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show. I appreciate y'all giving the listen, giving a view, and we're going to continue to let this cook and marinate and let this bubble up. And we're going to uh, keep giving the people what they want and what they need. Appreciate it.